Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the release preview channel. Well, Microsoft released a new build for the release preview channel, but for Windows 11 version 22H2, not for 23H2. And this is the build 22621.2500 or KB5031455. And this update brings a few improvements to the operating system and, of course, improvements that will be present in Windows 11 23H2 once you decide to upgrade to that version. In this video, as always, we're going to try to cover everything that is new or changed in this build, as well as fixes or known issues from previous builds. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Hitpaw Edit Maker. Hitpaw Edit Maker is an AI video editor with a lot of useful features. The software has all the needed functions to create a great video with audio, text, stickers, and transitions. Applying filters and effects is also as simple as clicking a button. With the powerful AI tool, you can add subtitles easily with the speech-to-text feature. Exporting is very simple, and you can save your video as a format for every social media platform. Make sure to check out Hitbot Edit Maker today from the description. Let's continue with the video. This build for the release PV channel is including a new search highlight experience that is available to all Windows Insider channels. This was discovered by Phantom Ocean 3, so shout out to him. Basically, now when you left-click on the search highlight icon, we will be redirected to the Bing search engine inside Microsoft Edge. This is not available for me right now, I think because I'm on the version 23H2 and I'm not on that particular build. But of course, if you don't have anyone to enable it, make sure to leave a comment below. Maybe I'm going to make a different video in which I'll show you how to enable that. Also, you'll be able to notice the system components page in the release preview channel in the settings app, of course, and in the start menu, you'll start to notice that certain apps should have the system component label if you have that enabled on your system. This update also fixes some memory leaks, for example, cdfmon.exe or textinputhost.exe. And also this update addresses an issue that affects touch screens. They do not work properly when you use more than one display. And also the search box experience should be improved in this release preview channel build. And there are a few other things that will be listed in the article below, but I'm not mentioning them here because those are not really that interesting and maybe could be, but only for a small number of users. And finally, with this build also noticed by Phantom Machine 3, all the Moment 4 features except for Copilot are no longer in a gradual rollout phase, so you should have all the new features inside the release preview channel at least. But of course, if you are not eligible, you won't have Copilot yet until Microsoft is expanding the eligibility for that AI assistant in Windows 11. So this is basically the latest build for the release preview channel. If you want to check out more info, you can go into the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please Please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.